Ever wonder why scrolling feels easier than studying? Why binge-watching Netflix is effortless but going to the gym feels impossible? Why junk food is so tempting but eating healthy feels like torture? Here's why. Your brain is wired for easy dopamine. It's constantly hunting for quick hits of pleasure with zero effort. But what if you could flip the script? What if you could actually rewire your brain to crave hard things instead? It's not because you're weak or undisciplined. It's brain chemistry. Every time you do something easy and pleasurable, scrolling social media, eating sugar, playing video games, your brain gets flooded with dopamine. That's the feel-good chemical. The problem? Hard things like studying, working out, or building something meaningful. They give you low dopamine now, but high rewards later. Your brain doesn't care about later. It wants pleasure now. This isn't weakness. This is biology. But here's the secret. You can reprogram this. Successful people aren't more disciplined than you. They've just hacked their dopamine system. Their hard work feels like you're scrolling. They've rewired their brains to crave the difficult. And I'm about to show you exactly how to do it. Here are three neuroscience-backed methods to force your brain to actually want hard things. This isn't about willpower. This is about rewiring. Step 1. Reset your reward system. Your brain is overstimulated. Social media, junk food, video games, endless entertainment. These spike your dopamine artificially high. So when you sit down to study or work on a real goal, your brain says, This is boring. Where's my dopamine hit? Real achievements can't compete with these artificial highs. So here's what you do. A strategic dopamine fast. For 24 to 48 hours, remove or drastically reduce the high dopamine, low effort activities. One day without your phone, social media, or TV. A weekend without video games or junk food. Just you, some books, maybe a walk, real conversations. It sounds extreme, but here's what happens. Your brain recalibrates. Your baseline dopamine resets. Suddenly, reading a book feels interesting. Working out feels rewarding. Creating something feels exciting. It's like resetting your taste buds after eating too much sugar. Healthy food starts tasting good again. Your brain remembers that normal activities can be pleasurable. Step 2. Make easy things harder. This one's counterintuitive. Instead of making hard things easier, make easy things harder. Add friction to your pleasures. Here's why this works. When easy activities become harder, hard activities become relatively easier by comparison. Want to watch Netflix? Do 20 push-ups first. Want to scroll Instagram? Read 10 pages of a book first. Want dessert? Finish your workout first. You're building what psychologists call discomfort tolerance. Your brain starts forming a new pattern. Hard work comes before pleasure. The hard thing becomes the gateway, not the obstacle. Think of it like a video game. You have to beat the boss, that's the hard part, to unlock the treasure. Over time, something magical happens. Your brain can't separate the two anymore. The hard thing itself starts feeling rewarding because it's connected to the pleasure that follows. Your tolerance for difficulty increases. What once felt impossible now feels like a warm-up. Step 3. Pair. Hard with pleasure. This is called temptation bundling, and it's genius. You combine something hard with something you genuinely love, and here's the key. The pleasure only happens during the hard thing. Only listen to your favorite podcast or music while working out. Never at any other time. Your brain starts craving the workout because that's the only way to get the music. Only drink your fancy coffee while studying. No other time. Soon, your brain associates studying with that coffee pleasure and starts looking forward to study sessions. Only eat your favorite snack during deep work, never while relaxing. The work becomes the trigger for the reward. This is neuroscience. Your brain can't separate the activities. After two to three weeks, the hard thing itself starts releasing dopamine. It's like Pavlov's dog. The bell was linked to food so many times that eventually, the bell alone made the dog salivate. Your hard work becomes the bell. The dopamine comes automatically. Here's a bonus tip. Shift your identity. Don't say, I have to work out. Say, I'm an athlete. Not, I need to study, but I'm a learner. Identity drives behavior more powerfully than goals ever will. When you are someone who does hard things, your brain seeks out behaviors that match that identity. Tell yourself this daily for seven days and watch what happens. Here's the truth. Your brain adapts to anything you repeat. Successful people find hard work relaxing, not stressful, because their dopamine system is recalibrated. What feels impossible to you right now will feel completely normal in 30 days. Right now, discomfort might feel like pain. 
But keep exposing yourself to it and you build immunity. Like steel forged in fire, you become stronger through the heat. Hard things become your new baseline. And here's the mindset shift. Stop waiting for hard things to feel easy. They might never feel easy, and that's perfectly okay. But you can learn to crave the challenge itself. Discomfort is just your growth signal. You're not broken if things are hard. You're evolving. So here's your challenge. Start with one method today. Pick a day this week for your dopamine detox. Or choose one hard task to pair with something you love. Your future self is either getting stronger or staying the same. And that choice happens today. You don't rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. Build the system. Crave the hard work. Become unstoppable. Your brain is waiting to be reprogrammed. Let's do it.